Mm. Right. Breeds, bud. Uh-huh. Said we need to check out Wind Rose. And song called Gates of Ikrud. Okay. Mm. Sure thing. Three, two, one, go. Sounding good. From the fortress of the dwarves on the gates are crying for war and coming with the night. The blood will flow before their home. There's no turning back anymore. From the fortress of I have mentioned in a few streams before where I'm like if you're gonna do green screen get it right mm -hmm. they get it right mm -hmm. pretty darn well mm -hmm. I mean you can you can see that it is green screen vibes but I mean that's freaking well blended though that's pretty darn good <clears throat> not gonna lie so all done there I do like this <coughs> Yeah, it's cool. But I always like their songs. It's mm. just, man, it's got a vibe. It's it just does. Cool. Come on, it's got such uh -huh. a cool vibe. I actually want to hear that note again. That's freaking that cool. That was very cool. 
as I said, like that's that, that really is growling. But then he does that note, and I'm like, man, you don't get that with growling. No, you don't. I mean, that's tone like for days. I, yeah, this is freaking uh-huh. cool. That's no, impressive. That's very, very cool. It's got it. Yeah. It's catchy as all hell. So, anyway. He looks exactly like Eddie Hall. <laughs> I told me I'm wrong. Yeesh. This band, man, they just has, they have just managed to diggy diggy their way into our hearts, man. Just say. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so very much for that. Thanks, Bruce, but I do love them. I think that I love them. <laughs> He's like, hi, Ray. Um. I really do like to me it's so interesting like you know they're singing about like war and stuff yeah that and if like yeah but if you take like even with Sabaton it's so catchy always it's just like it's it's so bad it's good but it's bad it's so catchy yeah (laughs) 